Fate is real. In a totally different country. That's not what people do in Taiwan. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Amy and thank you for watching this week's video. So I'm really excited to share today's video with you. Lucy is also from England, just like myself. We're both married to Taiwanese guys. After hearing how Lucy met her husband, I truly believe fate is real. If you haven't watched my video of how me and my husband, my Taiwanese husband met, Check out the link above. 真的，以前不想结婚。我二十一岁的时候，我朋友跟我说，你要不要跟我一起去大陆玩？我们去北京去一个礼拜，然后上海一个礼拜。我有看一个，我觉得哦还不错的男生。我没有，完全没有感觉他喜欢我。我跟你说，我在北京一直哭，一直哭，不要想结果的。我们就这一年玩得还蛮开心。I thought our story was really romantic and it was such a fate story. But after hearing Lucy's story. How she met her Taiwanese husband. I, honestly, I still can't believe how how they how it happened. My husband, we didn't meet in Taiwan or England. We met in Beijing, and Lucy didn't meet her husband in Taiwan or England. Well, well, kind of. So please watch today's video. I just think, like me, you'll just hear Lucy's story about how she met her husband, and just be like, wow. Lucy, so how long have you been here in Taiwan for? Uh, twelve years. Around twelve years. Twelve yeah. years. It's about the same as me as well. Eleven, twelve years. And you met your husband here in Taiwan. Is that right? Yeah. Well, yeah. shall I dive into the? Go story? on. Go on. Tell <laughs> us. Tell us all the details. I want to hear. So we met in Taiwan. It at a party. Oh, so we met in Taiwan. It at a party in the mountains. Right. Wow. Like, that sounds really a, romantic. A festival, like a kind of like a hippie festival. Yeah. <laughs> Can I say that? I like in that. In the mountains, and he was taking the ticket. And checking everybody's bags to make sure you didn't bring any drinks in. Right. And、um, I dressed as an angel because that's what we do in the UK when you go to a festival. We do. We dress, we dress up. up. Yeah. <laughs> It turns out that's not what people do in Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> so you literally you're the only one dressed up and everyone else. I was the only person at the festival dressed up. I bet you look beautiful.、Uh, I definitely look something. <laughs> You're right. A festival. We kind of back home. We're kind of like let's dress up and you know all like look beautiful, dress with flowers and like yeah, right? definitely, but not yet. No, not so much apparently. <laughs> so yeah, we met very briefly at the gate. I think he was a bit taken back. <laughs> Beautiful angel approaching him, right? <laughs> yeah, and I distracted him enough to get my drinks into the festival. <laughs> Wonderful! The job got done. Brilliant. And it worked. And my friend later introduced us, and、yeah. we probably talked for about five minutes because、yeah. he was only in Taiwan for that week. Yeah, is he not Taiwanese? He、or? is Taiwanese. Yeah,、so、he had been. Um, doing his working holiday visa in、right. Australia, right? And he'd come back to sit some exams, and then he was going to Nepal. He was like, "Yep,、yeah, I'm going to go to Nepal. Like that's my thing." And I was like, "Oh, okay, then bye." That's that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't feel like I really needed to waste my time on somebody. Definitely, that was just going to go gonna across gonna the world. You know,、right? exactly. Yeah. So I thought, oh, that's cool. Our friend added us together on Facebook, so、yeah. I saw that he was gone. And that was it. Didn't think much of it. Months later, I got an unexpected break from my、um, from my job, and I、yeah. was like, "Oh, well, let's go backpacking." And I went to Laos. Just went by myself, and I met some friends, and we started travelling together. And I was walking down the street one day, and I was like, "I recognise that guy." No. Yeah, you're joking. So you, in a totally different country, you literally bumped into him in the street. Yeah, <sighs> he was just sat on the pavement eating breakfast, and I was walking by with my friends on our way. And you had no、something. idea he was there. No idea, like. No, I kind of knew he was still traveling. Like、yeah. he was in Southeast Asia. He, I think I had maybe messaged him, but I think back then there wasn't a lot of. Right, it was literally MSN, wasn't it? Emails or really expensive calls, wasn't it? Like、yeah. Skype and whatnot, wasn't it? Like, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I was just like, "Whoa, Ni Hao!" And he was like, "Who's this? Who's this white chick?" <laughs> talking Chinese to me. I think it took him a couple of minutes to remember who I was. <laughs> I just can't believe that. Literally across the world, like you saw. This is fate. This is a fate story. I think. Yeah. Really. Then、um, we just talked for a couple of minutes、yeah. because we we're both playing it very cool. And of course, as you do, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> what am I going to do? Sit down and eat 
breakfast with it. Exactly. Right? It's a little bit, a little bit forward, right? So I was like, okay, me and my friends are gonna do our thing. And then the next day, we were going down the river and I bumped into him down the river. Again. Like in a really obscure place. Like yeah. a place that you wouldn't expect to see other people. I think something's definitely pushing you guys together. That's the third time in like a totally different place that you guys have met. Yeah, and then we played it cool again. Yeah. And then that night I went out clubbing with my friends and him and his friends were at the same bar. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and so that's kind of how it started. After that, that was the rest is history or was it no, like? He, I was like, oh, I'm gonna keep traveling with my friends. And he was like, yeah, I'm gonna go to Thailand with my friends, bye. And he thought, okay, right, he's gone again. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess that's that then. <laughs> a few days or a week or two later, he messaged and said, um, like, he's gonna go back to Taiwan. Yeah. And I was like, oh, actually my flight is the next day. He was like, well, do you, would you like to meet in Taiwan? And I was like, well, where do you live, right? You might be in Kaohsiung. Exactly, <laughs> if you're staying in Taipei, that's not a good way, no. It's a long time to commute, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it yeah. turns out we lived on the same street. No. So you literally have to be together. If you guys weren't together, then it was just crazy. Because that, how many signs have you had? Like that's like five, what, five times you kind of met? Like by chance, or if you leave all like coincidences, things like that. <gasps> this story is so romantic. Yeah. I love this. Because normally it's like, oh yeah, we were still working together, we were studying together. But you guys, it was literally, you've been pushed together like all over the world. Though. I feel like I just couldn't shake him. Yeah, it, yeah that's it, kind of stuck for life, right? <laughs> Do you think it was love at first sight? Like, when the first time you saw him, did you think, wow, that guy's pretty something? Or was it just like, obviously you knew he was going away, so maybe you just like put the, the block up, or did you did you have a feeling straight away? Straight away, I thought he was like really cute. Yeah. Because I think he, he kind of caught my eye. I guess I was looking very different. <laughs> From that, so you married now. So Lucy's married with two beautiful little boys. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And it was just such a cute story, the fact that they met, like, I think it was four or five times, just in a totally different place, like by chance. Um, I think it's amazing and obviously they were meant to be together. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel, My Asian Adventure, Amy Ingo 9 a It's totally free and I'll be sharing videos every week with you. And also check out my Instagram and my Facebook. It's also Amy Ingo 9 My Asian Adventure. Please do check out Lucy's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I'll put all the links to the side of me. I love her YouTube channel and I'm sure you guys will as well. If you haven't been already, please check out one of my restaurants. There's one in Danshui or Xingyi. And this year we have traditional British Christmas dinner. We are almost booked up at our Xingyi store, but there's still some places available in Danshui. So if you're interested in a traditional British Christmas dinner, we, are, we have dinners available 24th, 25th, 26th of December. So I'll leave all the contact details below. So thank you so much everyone for watching today's video. Please do share with me your love stories. Have you met someone from a different country um, or the same country and it was just kind of like fate. You were like, wow, we're meant to be together. So I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.